Hi, and welcome to the Comores Discovery Hub. I'm Chuck Allgood, technology leader for Option and Freon Band Refrigerants, and I'm standing here outside our brand new, state-of-the-art, world-class research and development headquarters and laboratories. Today, I want to take you on a never-seen look behind the curtain on how refrigerants are made. So we got a lot of people to see and a lot of stops to make, so let's head on inside and get started. Place the tube itself within liquid nitrogen to help cool it down to bring the, the refrigerant back to liquid inside the tube and decrease the pressure. And then once that's accomplished, then I load the refrigerant through the loader into the tube using a the ideal gas law. Uh, Presser, we have a variety of temperature sensors, the power meter consumption for the compressor itself, as well as discharge and suction pressure control. And how a typical test works is we decide on a condition, so suppose we're testing air conditioning. We'll take a standard that will provide us a evaporator and a condenser temperature to aim for for an air conditioning application. We can then adjust the suction and discharge pressure to adjust for the temperatures that we're aiming for, and then allow the calorimeter to sit steady for about an hour to ensure that the controls are working properly and we're maintaining those conditions that we're aiming for. After the hour has passed, we will then take a five minute snapshot of all the temperatures, and particularly the energy consumption of the compressor, as well as the cooling capacity of the fluid to GC except where it uses liquid uh, and then some of our main instruments here are GCMS's or uh, gas chromatographs uh, these are used specifically for uh, testing blends, testing refrigerants, uh, understanding uh, percentage compositions, uh, unknowns, impurities and things like that. This is a typical refrigerant sampling bag. Uh, we blow the refrigerant in here and uh, gives us an easy way to uh, inject it into our GC. Uh, disclaimer, this is a standard that is made with a uh, about 20 or 30 impurities in here. So let's just do an injection. So we'll quickly follow the path of the molecule here. Uh, after it gets injected, uh, it goes to an inlet that's, that's heated up real hot. Uh, that'll put everything into a vapor. It then goes through a uh, column, a capillary column. Uh, this column is, is made up of material that can interact with the refrigerants. And so uh, different refrigerants will interact with the material differently. And what that does is it kind of slows some down and and lets other ones kind of pass through faster. Uh, and essentially what it's doing is it's separating out the impurities. Uh, 